hello everyone welcome back to my channel diazonic labs in this particular video we'll be learning about one more important question uh, which i had got from a lot of my viewers they wanted to know how to create a github account and how you can use this github account to upload a lot of python files or any other files so i'll be explaining to you right from the beginning how you can get started with github account all right so let me just open my new tab here okay so i've opened my incognito window i'll first go to github account okay uh, i don't have to go to my account which I, which is existing i'll go to github.com okay this is the page which you get uh, it says built for developers here if you want to sign up you have to give three different things you have to give your username email id and password right so i'll give one username so let me quickly write here say uh, amir dash diazonic okay this is what i will write as my username and it should be completely unique okay apart from that you need to give email id which exists so uh, i have got one email id uh, raised to good at gmail.com okay this is my email id which i have so if your email id is already taken then you will get uh, some error here which is email id is already taken or it doesn't exist so please make sure that you have got a correct email id written here okay apart from that next thing what we need to write here is a password which you want so let me quickly type a password here all right uh, okay so once i have typed the password here i can now sign up for github let me just click on sign up for github and it is uh, asking you to verify your account you might have to wait for some time all right so it is loading and after that you get here please solve this puzzle so that we know you are a real person so please click on verify here once you click on verify you'll get that animal you have to turn around uh, by touching the arrow so that you can roll the image properly okay so when the image is correct way up just touch done okay it is done and after that you might have to do it for another this one okay let me just click on done so yeah it says good you are done with this you are it says uh, you have verified your account let me just scroll down i don't want say this occasional product uh, updates announcements and offers so i'll just remove this stick and let me click on join a free plan it will take some time to create the account let us wait for a while okay once it is done it says welcome to github that means your account is created on the right hand side you will be able to see signed in as amir diazonic right it's very easy as easy as this now uh, it is asking mostly a few questions what kind of work do you do mainly so you can just write here if you are a student you can write student if you are a, a software engineer just write software engineer okay and then uh, i will write that i am a teacher okay uh, so so how much programming experience do you have so i will write say a moderate amount okay if you are new to it you can just write new so that you get so many different things here so the next thing what it is asking is what do you plan to use github for okay so it is asking you to select three different things okay first i will write host a project repository this is very important because i have to create a repository here okay this is what i will write first then the second thing what i can write is say uh, use uh, for school work and student project then the next thing what you can write is maybe you know use the github api there are a lot of apis which you can use for you know uh, doing this particular thing so i have selected this three and then after that i'm interested in what okay so uh, there are different communities which you might be you know interested in let me just write say python as first community then the next thing i'll write say okay uh, i think so okay the moment i press enter it goes to the next page all right so not a problem i've given your python and then the next thing what it says is please verify your email address uh, before you could contribute to github we need to verify your email so we have to open this particular email so let me just go to my gmail account and say open this okay i'll do sign in and i have to open here so let me write say raise to good okay and let me quickly give the password and then after this is done once your gmail account opens you should be able to see one email from github account which is asking for the verification all right so got it okay uh, let me just scroll down and go to all mails so that uh, it will be visible here loading okay it's still loading okay you have got here 
github right so please verify your email account just go inside this and then click on verify email address once this is done you will be getting the page uh, your email was verified and now you can just you know start doing or start creating your repository whatever you want to so once this is done just click on skip this for now okay and then you will be in this particular page all right so once you are in this page you can easily you know do a lot of stuff so whatever you want to do so this is your home page what you have to do uh, you can just go here and click on the main page so yes this is your main page what you have so it says uh, you don't have any public repositories uh, yet and you can just go here and click on repositories click on new and now you can start uh, creating your repository so what is a repository it's basically a file or you can call it as a folder which contains all of your project files uh, including the revision history and all of it right so i will just give your name say basics let me just write basics okay and then here i will write this repository is for my basic projects okay this is what i will write and then let me scroll down and here okay if you if i want i can just uh, write this readme so basically readme is actually uh, you know one simple file which is uh, uh, available so that you know it tells you what and all are the files which are inside that particular repository and it's also easy to clone it with your computer right so just uh, click on this and then click on create repository and once this is done you'll be able to see that your repository is now created okay so just scroll down dismiss this okay so now your uh, basics repository is created and now what you can do is you can imagine you want to upload any file here you can just click on create file okay and then right here say hello dot py okay and it's very important to give your dot py name if you're writing something from scratch okay dot py dot c whatever you want to give let me quickly write here say print of hello world okay this is my first python code which i'm writing here i'll just write this okay done and after that just scroll down uh, don't do anything here just click on commit new file and after that your file will be created so if you let me just go back to my say let me close this i'll go back to my home page okay once uh, i go back to my home page it says basics is my repository here let me go inside this and then you'll be able to see here hello.py right so hello.py actually consists your code whatever it is there okay so this is how you create a basic code now let me show you how you can you know collaborate with uh, the google collab document how you can put your or host your google collab uh, uh, document here so let me just go to say google collab here i'll type here say google collab all right and since mostly uh, i use uh, google collab so i found it to be uh, very imperative to you know let you know how you can uh, assign your google collab notebook on your github page okay so the first thing what i'll do is uh, let me just click on quickly new notebook and let me create a file okay it's taking some time all right yeah so it's created let me quickly write here say one uh, i will write here say some using functions okay let me just write here functions and then here first thing i have to connect this uh, until it gets connected let us quickly write a function i will write says define of sum of say a comma b okay and then inside this i will write say result is equal to a plus b okay and then let me write here say print of result all right uh, let me run this it will take some time i know and then i will write say sum of say 2 comma 3 and then let me run this i have written a small uh, amount of code here i will not write uh, some more this is i think so sufficient for us to just understand uh, how we can write the code so once the code is written go to file here and as we all know that whenever you open google collab it will be by default saved in your drive okay now what you have to do is go to file and you'll have an option here save a copy in github right so just click on this and it will wait for some time so uh then it asks you your Google Collaboratory by Google Collab and please make sure that this is your account you have to open your github account in the 
following tab in any of your uh, tab in your Google Chrome browser only then it will get added so it is asking for authorization just click on authorize Google collab and once it is done uh, you have to wait for some time so it is asking you where you have to add this right so let me say that I have to add it in basics only because I don't have any other repository okay uh, just don't do anything about this masters once this is done uh, if you want you can change your uh, commit message here whatever you want and after that please make sure that uh, there is a link to collaboratory here once this is done it is IPYNB as we all know that Google Collabs have a file extension of uh, interactive Python notebook so just keep it as it is click on OK once this is done it will create the copy okay and you have to wait for a while and afterwards it will load itself uh, whatever you have done here so if you see here it is loading directly that particular notebook whatever you have written in your Google Collab uh, it will load here itself right so along with this you'll have an option for opening it in Collab that means imagine you want to do something you want to edit it out you can just click on this and it will get back to the same collab notebook which you had used right so uh, this is the way of you know uploading or uh, connecting your Google collab with whatever notebooks you have all right so let me go back to my home page here again okay now I am in basics let me go back to my basics you'll be able to see here I've told you two ways of uh, writing this code one is uh, by writing normally from scratch by uh, clicking on create a new file and one more thing is some using functions right uh, one more way of uh, doing this is uh, using the collab notebook which I have connected here okay so I'll show you one more last way here just go to create a new file here okay oh sorry let's not go to create a new file let me go back and uh, let me go to basics again you'll have an option here of uploading the file just click on upload the file imagine you want to upload any file from your computer you can do that as well all right so you'll have option of choosing your file okay so you'll have option of choosing your file whatever file you want to choose you can just choose here and then uh, you can just click on this and then it will get uploaded right so whatever is there in your local system that also can be uploaded here and not only this imagine you want to upload a complete folder you can just drag and drop that particular folder here so so whatever your folder is there just drag and drop it here and then it will get added to your repository and you can just click on commit changes right so this were a few of the ways how you can use github so start using github it's very uh, powerful it's very useful to you know share whatever you have done whatever projects you have done with the community and uh, it's a great way of representation of your code it will be really helpful for your career if uh, you are someone who is uh, wanting to go for any interviews in any tech technical field it's a great way of showcasing your project so as uh, they all call it that github is one of the new resume which is uh, going into the trend right now all right so uh, if you have any queries guys please do uh, let us know so we'll be answering your questions in ask us anything uh, series so until then please take care of yourself and uh, i'll see you in the next video